testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay. So you're on your pogo stick, you do your portal moon power with your new astroglyphs. Yep. And no, well, no, you're not doing portal moon, you're doing teleport. So you go there. Yes. And you alert other creatures. And what can we have? Oh, I don't know. Roll on the app. Six. <clears throat> so you're you arrive in a sort of at the top of a valley. It's kind of a normal rocky grassland sort of valley, but everything's still a bit sort of there's lots of orangey grey mist everywhere. Yep. Um, you got the feeling of being washed, which is a bit weird because you just arrived. Hmm. I look over my shoulder and around me. Is there anything that I can obviously see, or just the uh, hmm. just the uh, terrain and the hazy orange mist? You can feel the temperature getting colder. Ah, lovely. Uh, you could do a sense magic if you want to try and see if there's anything magic happening, or you can just yeah, use your, your normal senses. Or no, just the normal senses. All right, so roll observation. Six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. We're doing well. Right, move time. Yeah. Um, so you're standing at the top of the valley. There's a lot of shrubs. Appear to be shrubs or bushes. Appear to be jasmine. Um, you notice quite a few of the jasmine vines are up around your legs, seem to be pulling you towards some of the bigger bushes. What are you doing? I'm going to try and pull myself out from their grasp. Alright. How? Um, I guess sort of lurching and kicking to try and um, detangle myself. That's a genius thing. Alright, so we're on defence. Yeah, uh, agility. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm. All right, you have to keep right over. They're, they're not that thick of vines, and you will free. There's some other ones coming towards you. I'm gonna run away <laughs> into the valley, or sort of along the top, or um, can I recognise which was the way I was meant to go from the map? You think the other side of the valley, so you can either run along the top, or I'll run through the valley. Uh, yeah, you can, you can get, sort of go down into the valley, across the ridge, or you think that way and you can teleport. Into the valley? Yeah. All right. Okay. And chips with you, he's fine. Okay. You, um, so you're going along the valley, <laughs> and you, the valley reminds you of a dream you had a while back. Okay. There's sort of shadows moving amongst the rocks and along the cliffs of the valley, and they're coming towards you, and it gets darker and colder. Doing anything, or just continuing on or not? I can do you one, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any special senses like hearing or you know, scent or stuff? Uh, I've got time awareness. Time awareness. And 
survivors. My species moved. What is survivors? I get plus one on wilderness checks. Huh. Okay. Oh, if you rolled six for the last observation check. So, and you took your attention when you did teleport to get here. So, okay, you do um, your most way through the valley, and you can you hear the sound of knife being drawn out of a sheath. Excellent. That's probably a great thing. Mm. Uh, can I can I can I see anything drawing knives? Uh, no, it's quite misty and foggy here. Can I sense magic? Sure. Go for it. Um, well, yeah, you don't, you don't roll. You just do it. You just take take a moment to two. <laughs> just roll. You don't roll. Yeah, so you, you just set some magic out. What does that look like for you again? Um, so my um, my skin, um, the the um, sort of the blotchy on my the blotches on my skin change shape to um, and arrange themselves to sort of point towards or highlight specific types of magic. Okay. Um. Yeah, you can't sense anything sort of magical, um, but out of the fog comes six hooded creatures, sort of rat-like muzzles sticking out of their hoods. Yes. All right, initiative. Just a straight D8. Two. <laughs> You're rolling well. I'm rolling fantastic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they're first. So, um, two of them are going to try and stab you, while the rest are sort of closing the cut off your escape. Um, yeah, how are you trying to avoid their attack or not? As they, um, as, as they uh, come in towards me, uh, I'm going to try and pogo over them. That definitely sounds like a jelly. Oh, you can argue with dealing your strength, depending on whether you're just doing a big boing or whether you're bouncing off a rock to get around them. Or... I'll do some pogo stick parkour and um, bounce off a rock. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a Yep. Yep. <laughs> 15. Uh, Roddy. 15? Yeah. God damn. All right, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Where yeah. rats are amazed as you park or pogo stick away from them. All right. Um, they're sort of coming out here as a semicircle now rather than having you surrounded. If you just yeah, bounced over the top. Okay. Um, Let's maybe look up a. You might make a bonus because there are multiple of them, but you, you roll 15, even if I take it down too. So, yeah. Well. Just looking at. That time the dice went away. Yeah, that's nice. Um, can't find the spell that I was looking to find information on. Is it Blast Mind or something? No, or? it was Wall of Wood. Yeah. What are we at? A wall dash wood, I think. Um, it'll be in the other one because there are two of these. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there you go. Over there. Yeah, that's entered. Yeah. Uh, so. yeah, they're into grey leathers with a brown hood. And they've got a dagger in each hand, which are rather annoyed. Yeah. Get him! Cut him up! Alright, I'm going to try and encase them in a um, an area uh, and create a wall of wood around them. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, go for it. Ah, 14! 
I'm just saying. <laughs> How tall was it? Was it 24 or something? Um, it was hmm, reasonably tall. Just something I'm going to climb out, I guess. Um, it's, yeah. 30 foot square, so 10 square meters. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty high. All right, so it's going to take me a bit of time to get out of it. So you can stay there, you're going to set the wood on fire, you're just going to burn it off. Or... Um, I'll ask them what they want with me. I'm assuming they can hear me. Yeah, they're uh, going to catch you up and Take your coin. All right then. Um, no, I don't really feel like that today. <laughs> you sure? I am. <laughs> I am sure. You can hear some grunting and clawing as they're trying to boost each other up to get over the wall. I just want to think if there's any way to like fill the. Is it? Is it like? Solid, or like yeah, yeah. can I fill it with water and make them drown or something? Well, it's on the ground, so the water would soak into the ground. Ah, uh, whatever normal soaking, right? Uh, Chibble, Chibble just saying, let's go, boss. Right, and then we'll head up. No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> Doing, doing. Yep. Alrighty. I'm not going to roll for that because you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> okay. So, a mile up the road. Um, is there a road? Well, it's a mile up the valley. There's a moth that's you know, 60 foot across. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does, um, you have much to learn, but I will, if you bring me food, enlightenment will be yours. What kind of food? When, when he's talking. Well, it's talking. You can kind of hear it in your mind, and everything is shuddering just as she. Yep. Power is voice. I say his, but it, it's a moth. You really don't. Know. <laughs> I asked Chip, "Do you know this this moth? It's rather he's, big." He's scared, and he says, "This is the elder moth. We must listen to the elder moth." Oh, I should listen to the elder moth then. I will. Um, I, will I will bring you food, elder moth. What kind of food do you desire? Uh, you know, several valleys. Over that way, and it sort of flaps its wing. A couple of trees fall over from the sheer power of it. Um, there are giant silkworms. Bring them here, and they will make silk for me. And I'll have many noms. Noms is good. <laughs> <laughs> As you wish. I, I will seek out the, uh, the silkworms. They will achieve enlightenment. Thank you, Elder Moth. I will, I will return. I'll bound off in the direction of the uh, the valley that the uh, elder moth indicated. Uh, when 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 ships calm down once we're sort of bit out of range, I'll ask him if um, it is a true. Will the elder moth really bring enlightenment? Yes, yes, boss. Yes, it will. Brilliant. Let's go. Let's find these silkworms. Oh, um, so that would be uh, astral travel. Do, 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 do. All right, well, you got to roll both. Uh, so roll 2d8 plus charisma. Apart me, avoiding danger. 13. Okay. Oh, plus charisma. 12. <laughs> okay, you avoided that, Jack. Now, um, being of resolute intent, how did you go? Plus intuition. Two yeah, plus intuition. Seven. Hmm. Delayed by doubts and amusements. Stuck in an astral tether. You kind of desire separates because there's only one of you. So stuck in an astral tether. Roll. 
Well, let's see how many times. There. We're on a D12. Seven. Doesn't make sense. Reroll. <laughs> One. All right. All right. So you're going through the valley um, yeah, to get to the other valley where the silk worms are. And it's snowing. That's snowing heavier and heavier. You can barely see. It's cold. Huh. I'm going to seek shelter. Okay. Um, you, can, you can barely see 20 feet in front of you at this point. So that would be nature. Either intuition or goal. Depending on whether you're practice of camping for intuition or for guile, it's yeah, looking around using your senses. I will. Doesn't really bother me. Which one I'm gonna do. Um, I'll use my senses, I think. Um, yeah. Try and see somewhere which will provide sufficient shelter from snow, etc. Okay. Um, 13. Do I, get, uh, do I get a bonus from my um, survivor's species move? Yes, you would. So 14. Okay. So, yep, you, you find some shelter. And snow lasts for a couple of hours, we'll say. I guess it'll cover my tracks a little bit at least. Yes, it's a bad descent because there's snow everywhere. Yes. Okay. Well, rest here. Um, I'm gonna take a moment for to, to like try and recover my um, recover my strength, given that my entry into the astral plane was slightly traumatic. <laughs> sure. Uh, natural healing is one health for three hours rest. So if I rest here for three hours, then it'll give time for the uh, blizzard to yeah. clear a bit and to yeah. regain my health a yeah. tad. So I'm no longer moderately wounded. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, cause you don't have healing or regeneration, do you? Well, I do not. No. Okay. You got my cancer pretty early. I sure do. <laughs> you can't heal me, but I can turn to a werewolf. <laughs> turn someone else into a werewolf. All right, jolly good. Hmm, all right, so, yeah, you rest a bit. It's still snowing and cold outside. Yep. But, yeah, in this sort of orange, grey, misty realm. But it, yeah, it, it's not a full on blizzard. You can go on and keep marching on if you wish, or you can rest some more. You can go back to this and go home. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I will keep going. Okay. Yep. Oh, can I use Lacanthry to turn myself into a wear penguin so I can slide across the snow on my belly? <laughs> sure. I've got to cast it first. If you screw it up. <laughs> Four. What? <laughs> <laughs> right. Jolly good. Moderator moves. Because, yeah, even if you took your time and made a short range, you'd take it up to six. It's yeah, so fast. it's not good. All right. That's all right. So you, you do that. And through the snow, I mean, it, yeah, it's light snow anyway, so you can see a good 100 feet or so. Yeah. You can see a massive spider. Okay. It's got a little bit of white fur, but it's like a um, black skin. Probably about 200 foot across. Wow, okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. I did say massive. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, yeah, sort of marching across the, the rim of the valley. And yeah, it sort of stops to front, feel of things, wiggle around a bit, sort of sensing what's out there. 
You doing anything? I'm going to try and remain very still. <laughs> that will be hidden. Um, Intuition bonus, I think. Is appropriate? Nine. Nine. So the side effect, no, you know, attracts attention. No, you don't want to attract attention. I don't want to attract attention. <laughs> Supernatural effect. Um, it's got nothing to do with information. Maybe you, you just, uh, it's fatigue, you're minus one to four, because you, you, you're sweating and... Trying to hold myself as still as possible. Yeah, you probably be shaking. You're and tense and then you're... Probably... You're burning energy because you, it's quite stressful. Because yeah. it is, you're... Deep poo. Yeah. <laughs> it's not to get ourselves. All right. You it's this massive spider. Um, so yeah, it, it goes on. Uh, but you feel tired, so you're not trying to move forward for the meantime. Um are you just gonna stay still for a while longer or are you gonna try and fight to go up towards the other valleys or um uh, has the spider moved on? Yes. All right. Uh, did I successfully turn myself into a penguin, a wear penguin, or not? No, no you're not. Okay. No, you tried to use that like, like anthony power, and you didn't feel like the you know older spirits were elder spirits were with you. you just nothing. All right. Okay. Oh, well, I'll give it a bit of time so that hopefully I don't come across the non spider again, and then I'll try and yeah uh, make make my way out and trek across the um, the valleys to towards where the um, Giant silk I Instantly, was the giant spider heading in that direction? No. Okay. It was sort of heading off 90 degrees. That's fine then. All right. So you're going to go towards the silk worms are. Yep. And we'll say there's nine of them. Yep. They're about 100 foot or 30 meters long and about 10 meters or 30 feet across. Big blobby silk worms in the valley. Okay. Massive trousers of silk on them. Was it the Did he want the worms or did he want the silk? He wanted the worms because then that way they could keep making him food. Basically. Okay. Can I like. Because I've been, I know where the um, giant moth was and I know where these are now, can I teleport, like go and touch one and teleport it and me back to the moth? I think he can teleport, yeah. Reasonable. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned a mana point per extra target or something. I mean, you could ask, I'm not sure you haven't tried talking to them or anything yet. Yeah. There's one one creature per level. Mm, and you're four, so yeah, you can take a couple. Your family doesn't count, so you can take you and three of them. Yeah. Um I'll try talking to them. <laughs> and those silk worms. I've come across your valley. It is magnificent. I love your silk. I was just trying to think what the hell they sound like, and I keep thinking, seeing that bloody um I am silk. No, no, I was thinking of the sloth from uh, zoo, Zootopia. Zootopia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just so smart. <laughs> <it's like, laughs> oh my god. How um, low. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about them. <laughs> they don't say anything. Okay. They look like one of them sort of turned towards you for a second and went back, and yeah, they're just wriggling along. Massive silk trail behind them. I have an important task. I have come to seek your help. Oh. Will you help me, giant silkworms? Will you help me in this task? Any reaction? No. Nope. Would, you, would you like to go on an adventure, silkworms? An adventure. Do you honestly think it's an adventure, or do you think oh, I'm seriously screwing these guys? <laughs> I 
think I'm seriously screwing these guys over, but I'm trying uh-huh. to convince them that it's an adventure and seeing if they're going to react. Yeah, it'll be a people skill. So, career, add plus, add charisma. Because <laughs> they're, they're, they're getting vibes off you. Uh, eight. eight. So, mid range result. Um, consumes time. Yeah, it consumes time because they seem slow as heck. Yeah, so maybe you spend like an hour talking to them a bit. <laughs> so, like, when you say an adventure, they. There's images in your mind of like plains and forests and deserts. So they're basically saying where. And yeah, so that's why the conversation goes back and forth. It takes like an hour. They're, they're speaking to you in telepathic pictographs, <laughs> screenshots. Can I transmit like telegraphic pictographs back of, you know, silkworm? Riding through the clouds on the back of a dragon <laughs> and a, a, a giant silkworm, like on a pirate ship, <laughs> not with dueling that. with a yeah, with, it, 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 that's okay. what you're trying to do, but not with that role. It's not see quite that role. okay. Um, so two of them are well, oh, yeah, two of them are sort of ooze wiggle close to you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I have the image I need. It's, it's the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Um, I, on I, Monday, it ate through. <laughs> yeah, that does an adventurous. Um, I think there would be worms like this in plague lands in the Eastern Kingdoms and Wow. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. But that's the only other sort of reference I can think of for these massive worms. Giant um, blobs. Yeah, giant big blobby things. They're not dune worms. Yeah. Okay. So it's squidge over. Yep. They look like they eagerly want to go on an adventure. As far as you can tell, okay. you're getting warm fuzzies telepathically from them. <laughs> Good vibes. All right. Um, we'll come back and tell your friends about about all of your adventures, and I will um, <laughs> teleport them, the, the willing ones. Yeah. Because uh, I'm assuming that next it's probably easier if the subject is willing yeah, to be teleported. Yeah. Um, back to the Elder Moth. <laughs> sounds like a bad trip, doesn't it? <laughs> All righty. Uh, ten. ten. I'll take my time and stuff. Yeah. And I get. I think I get a, a bonus because it's a place that I've been before. Yes. All right. So twelve. Oh, you just teleported me back. So, you know, whoop. Right, so hang on, what are you? And yeah, heaps of moss come out when you teleport yourself. Yep. Okay. So you teleport back to the Elder Moth with these giant freaking silk, silkworms. Yep. However, when you pop out, the where rats come out of the fog and say, there he is. No, hang on, that is not that. There he is, get him. <laughs> the where rats are running for you. Okay. There's two looks like they're going for each of the silkworms, and there's two running straight for you. But it is new initiative. Oh, God, they rolled two this time. I rolled six. Oh, my. Ha, ha. Uh, where's my spit? Yeah. But it looks like they, they waited for you to come back to this area and then charge them towards you. They're not real happy. Let me read this. What are you going for? Um, can, I, can I use teleport to like teleport them into the sky and make them fall? Oh, I don't think it can be used like that. That's what I was just saying. Oh, universal cooperative, so. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, someone else can help you with it. Oh, okay. One creature per level, instant 30 miles per mana on the same plane that is not protected by wards. Teleport does not take vehicles such as carts or wagons. Mounts count as creature, but familiars do not. Characters can customize how they appear. Yeah, that's fine. Um, plus one to path move roll if you've been there before multiple times. Minus one to path move roll. Oh, so, so, so that just 
Yeah, you've just got to succeed at the, the power roll. All right. Well, the four that are going for the silkworms, was it four or two? Yeah, four. All right. Well, I will make, try and make those four just like teleport them up into the sky so that they fall back down and die. <laughs> Six. Okay. In this case, what I can say is it, it works, but you've forgot you're on the astral plane. Yeah. So they can just will themselves to slow down and stop. Right. So, you know, they're not doing anything this round, and probably not next round either. But yeah, they're, they're, they're quickly falling and slowly falling and they stop. They're like, we've been here before. <laughs> right. But yeah, so. At least been buys me some time. Yeah, and stops the silkworms getting stabbed mm. for two rounds. However, the two near you are going to try and stab you. Excellent. I'm going to try and... Um, not get stabbed. Not get stabbed. And I'll, I'll sort of um, duck and weave, use my quick footwork to um, try and evade their um, stabbiness. How did you look at uh, 13. Alright. Um, so, yeah, what's that look like? Uh, well, um, I use my quick footwork to try and um, manoeuvre myself as they're moving towards me. Um, uh, are you sort of pushing them into each other? Are you using the environment? Are you um, swinging off slang? How, what's, the, what's the style of it? Sort of thing? Um, I guess just sort of super agile in terms of dodging and uh, moving out of the way. Uh, okay. Quick, quick manoeuvring um, to evade their strikes. Really good. Um, so what do you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that's why. Right. Um, and then I sort of bound away and um, throw a uh, throwing knife out to one of them. Okay, so yeah, we'll go into the next round. Yep, go for it. That is a nine. Okay, so moderate success, both you and your enemy hit, both you and your enemy miss, uh, you hit your enemy but your gear got used up or damaged. I'll use up the throwing knife. Yep. Okay. Um, and that deals... Yes, four points. Plus two. Oh I've yeah, you, you, you're good. And two hours. Alright, so bang. <clears throat> uh, yep. He goes down. So it's still one trying to nearly you. Yep. And the four slowly falling back to the ground. Yep. So uh, just to recap, you're on the edge of this sort of slightly grassy, rocky valley, or junction between valleys. There's the elder moss sort of floating above, just watching, and these wear are floating down to the ground. Yep. Um, so there you go, this is floating down, and the other one that's trying to stab you. I think he's going to go for your moth. But you roll the fend. And two for agility. Uh, yep, so 14. Yeah, yeah. So he takes a, a slash at chip and chip is going straight up in the air. So, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly anyway, it's not hard for me to move. Like, You're not getting me, you filthy rat. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, round three. Three for three? Yeah. All right. I'll, um, now, it, it, in terms of my fighting style, yep. can I um, use, because I, I only use daggers, yep. can I use my agility skill and a sort of aim for precise yeah. strikes as opposed to overpowering strength? Yes. Um, so precise, precise strikes of critical yep. organs. Yeah. Or well, just lots of little strikes to make them bleed out. Yeah, yeah. Um, 17. Oh, like crap. Yep, you want to do a special effect or just flat damage? Uh, I'll just do flat damage. All right, bang. Tell me, how are you killing? Um, to, uh, he, he swipes um, to try and attack Chip, and um, I see an opening um, in his defences because um, he's sort of got an overhand strike and he's, I'm able to get in there and up under his ribs. Oh, um, nice. You can't even cry out properly. Yeah. All right. All right. So do it down. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm thinking the other four. Well, the other four sort of they got the nice and they were headed in, but they sort of hesitate. Are you going to do or say anything? Or bugger off, you lot. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you sort of trying to act casual so that you don't even consider them a threat, or are you going to you know, piss off and being intimidating, or how are you how are you selling it? Um. I want to give them the impression that um, I don't consider them a threat. So it's all casual. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, so add charisma. Uh, 11. Hello. Okay. So you get no side effect there. That's, uh, it's not even sweating. Mm. <laughs> all right. They turn, turn away and run. Um, one of them comes back and says, you know, can we take our fallen? I said, bugger off. Oh. <laughs> she just sniffs at you, has a good sniff and runs off. Now, we're at enemy. <coughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Not that I don't have we're at enemies already. Yes. Well, I had not these guys for a while, so yeah, yeah on. And you kept rolling attract attention, so. Um, all right. Um, the Elder Moth, <laughs> that's the sentence of them. <laughs> the Elder Moth says, oh, jolly good show. I see you brought me some silkworms, excellent. Well, have a good day. Elder Moth. Yes. I am seeking enlightenment. Oh, oh, that was you before. That was me before. Uh, you pesky olds, you all look the same. We do. I'm sure we do. <laughs> it's not even looking at you, it was looking <laughs> the other way. It was just sort of you know, looking around in the clouds and stuff. Um, hmm, okay. Okay, it says... Um, it says, um, I, I grant you this blessing and it flaps its wings and there's all these flowers pop up in the ground in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it says, plant them and they will spawn forth um, abundant crops year after year. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what I think about. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, um. I guess I'll dig up the, 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 the flowers and some of the dirt to go with them and pop them in a the, in the sack. Alright. Thank you, Elder Moth, for this, uh, this gift. I'm sure Rada knows what these are. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, and then it, it, it's flapping off, and it sort of shepherds in some way. The um, herds, herds, yeah, yeah business beckons the big giant silkworms into the valley, and it summons some food stuff for them to eat. I've got no idea what that is. I suppose plant bits, <laughs> compost maybe, um, not leaves. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and you feel good. Yeah, did you grab any of the flowers or are you just leaving them? Or? No, I grabbed the flowers. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll dig them up as well as some soil so that they don't immediately die and, um, and, and pop them in a the, in the sack. Okay. All right. You've got them in a the sack. And then what do you do? A warm summer rain comes across the valley. Okay. Um, ah. I'll talk to Chip and. Um, do you have any idea what these flowers are for? Absolutely none, boss. <laughs> is that uh, the typical kind of blessing from the elder moth? I've never met him before, I just heard about him. No. Oh. Right. Very good then. Shall we, uh, shall we head back? Maybe we could plant these uh, back home and see what happens. 
What could possibly go wrong? I think I think we should put some back in the, the bread box. In the bread box? With the pot cleaners. <laughs> Do you think they'll grow there? I don't know. Why do you think we should put them in the back box then? I don't know. Hmm. Well. It's moss intuition. <laughs> well, you're a moth and the elder moth is a moth, so I'm sure there's some wisdom to this all. Let's uh let's head back, shall we? Shall we teleport or do you want to poke a stick away? It's hard to resist the lure of the poker stick, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, let us go. We'll bound off on the pogo stick. So are you going to physically travel there or are you going to go um, teleport or are you going to... We're going to pogo stick. Oh, okay. Okay. Look out of avoid danger. 2d8 plus charisma. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> so we don't inevitably get ambushed by the remaining we <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Okay, and uh, resolute intent to the A plus intuition. Nine. Delayed. Well, you delayed by what you were followed by. You are being followed. You have three minutes. You sense danger approaching you. What are you doing? I will pogo stick faster. <laughs> You're trying to get away, but it's not hidden. It would be athletics. Okay. Yeah, might or agility to athletics. It sounds like might. It's more of like endurance if I'm going to pogo stick yeah, faster. Yeah, you're not bouncing off rocks past them, so you're just flat trying to go as hard as you can. Yeah. So, yeah, add your might to athletics. Uh, nine. Do you have athletic skill? No. No, so it's just a strike two. Yeah, got might. Yeah, but you because you're not skilled in it, it's a strike two. Oh, okay. You can, uh, so eight. Then. Eight. All right. Hmm. How about attracts attention <laughs> as a side of effect? Or minus one forward for fatigue. I think fatigue because I'm I'm exerting myself. Yeah. So minus one for the rest of this scene. For physical. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense for it to be the wear rats rather than a new creature. Either that or the two hundred foot spider. Well, you did ask for it, okay. 200 foot spider it is. <laughs> uh, dear. So. I look over my shoulder and see this thing coming after me. Oh, bugger me. Yep, it's 200 foot across. Instead of the sort of normal creepy scuttling, it's big leg, big leg step, because it's huge. <laughs> it's creepy scuttling, but on a massive scale. Yes. Um. Yes, it's gaining ground on you. What are you doing? I'm going to teleport away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, yeah. I see this thing chasing me. I go, oh, bugger me, and I teleport away. Well, I'm going to try it. Yeah, you can't get take time, but you can mm. do short range to get plus one. Yeah. Um, how, 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 how big is short range? Oh, well, I, I was able to teleport. To the valley yeah, yeah, from yeah. home. So I'm just going to teleport, try and teleport back home. Yeah. You could use sympathetic magic and grab Chip because he touched the box with the. Yeah. Bike U- using the bread box as a as an anchor. Yeah, because Chip touched it and there'd be mothy bits on it. You grab Chip and. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'm ignoring the mothball stroke in my head. <laughs> okay, go for it. That's oh, not too bad. 13 plus one for short range plus short range. Yeah, minus one for, um, yeah, minus one forward for thing. But wasn't that for physical? No, that's just how. Oh, I'm okay. Just so 13 plus one for the sympathetic, minus one for the endurance. So it's still just 13. Yeah. <laughs> you know. A cloud of moths appears in my room. <laughs> Alrighty. That could have gotten a rather nasty, a very brief period of time. <laughs> yep. Okay. So you're in your room. Hmm. I am going to take a flower and put it in the bread box. Yeah. Because 
the moth wisdom. We'll have a look through the flowers. A couple of flowers are there. So give me the um the yeah, the path with the salon down that one. I'm just wondering if there's a way for the spider to track you. Mm. That would be awesome. Oh, it? Probably less for you. Well, I don't care. I'll just move to a different place. <laughs> you just keep pulling away. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll open a um, yeah, I'll open a portal back to um, the yeah. Recusal. I think there are powers that do it, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't have them. Yeah. So that's all right. Okay. So you can put a little flower in the box. <laughs> Ding! You pass your familiar quest. Yay. So basically, you can choose health, uh, wealth, or definitely going wealth fortune. based on my vert, no, my fortune. life. Fortune. Oh, mm. fortune is in luck. In the oh no, do we'll do wealth because of my vice, which is greed. All right, so a deed appears in the box. A deed? Yep. In my bird box? Yep. Okay, I have a look at this deed. Um, it's basically right to a fishing area. Okay. And there's some people that fish there and they give you a percentage for your protection or whatever. And basically to earn you um, a thousand, well, no. So because I've changed currency, so it's, it's 100 hex a year. Okay. Which is quite a bit of cash. Hmm. It's 100? I need to check that there might be way too much. <laughs> because I, I, I looked at it and then it's, Stuff in name silver, electrum, and gold isn't really fun. No, it's it, it might it's ma make sense. A coin cut, yeah. And I went with hex because it's kind of magic y and also, um, yeah, it's easy. There's six other coins, that's yeah. fine. So, a, a full proper castle is 50 hex, so we'll say 10 hex a year. Okay, we just do you know, you can come from here on that anyway. Uh, what coins did you have, by the way? I had eight coins. A lot of them were counterfeit coins because that's how. <laughs> that's how you and your, um, your Sphinx buddy rolled. Yeah. I didn't have it written down nicely. Because I had. Yeah, like 80 counterfeit coins. And then. 20 gold, 36 gold, 20 gold, 30 gold. I got 100 gold and three dreary crystals. Three dreary crystals, yeah. yeah. All right, so take off the coinage and just make it, you've got 10 hex and 10 counterfeit hex. 10 hex, 10 counterfeit hex. Yeah, which is quite a bit. That's quite a bit of cash. And then I get 10 hex per year. Yep. As long as no one trashes those fishing areas, and you know, is it sort of nearby to where where I live? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be rather convenient and contrived. So no. To give you an idea, leather armor or light armor is one hex. Okay. Ten hex, you can get a three ring. Home, make a stone, 
and all three of its headings. So I guess a, a, a lot of the um, economy is based on barter. Yeah. And then for for material goods. Yeah. Like all the weapons are between one and five hex. Yeah. What? Because oh, the hell cost five hex. It's all chunks. Uh, no, your musket. And crossbow. Yeah, yeah. So things which most are two like to three. Engineering. Yeah. Most that's two to three. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, you've got a, you've got an income plus whatever else you do. Because uh, I wanted you to get rewards from your familiar quest, but not take away the reason to adventure or yeah. investigate, explore, whatever you want to call it. So I'm, I'm assuming like the, the, the fishing grounds are being like, you know, like a lake or something, and there's a couple of villages, or even that, or a bay. Yeah, probably a section of the bay. Yeah. And it's various, you know, like if they're a fishing village or small. The downside, of course, with the fishing area is uh, in this universe, demons are aquatic. Yeah. So you always got to, yeah. you're not patrolling the coast, you're patrolling under the coast. Yeah. <laughs> so have fun with that. Sounds like fun. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so that's, you've got this deed and you're in the astral village. Yep. You can spend some time in the auntie or go back to Tiraka or what do you want? I'm going to go and play Mahjong with my auntie. Uh -huh. I think I've got a Mahjong set. I'm pretty sure you've got one at one point. I do. I have a Mahjong set. No. Yeah, I would have had more gold, like 55 electrum and 35 gold and 70 gold. Oh, so make it 20 hex yeah. and 10 counterfeit hex. <laughs> So yeah, you're, you've you've got heaps of disposable cash. Yeah, because I'm um, well, greed. I'm a greedy bastard. Yeah. I like to accumulate wealth. I don't like to spend it. Really good. Mm -hmm. all right. So all that took place over a twenty-four hour period. Yeah. All right. So you play my John with the RT. Yep. I tell her about this sweet new fishing grounds that I've inherited. <laughs> That's nice, dear. Um, yeah, she said your cousin's looking for you. Ah. That's Pre Ross Nav and Yas Ross Nav. They're werewolves. Okay, not weird panthers because. No. Okay. They're unusual in your family, but yes, they're werewolves. Right. They were looking for me here or back? They've just been looking for you. They've, they've gone to a few different places. Oh. She, they said something about going to the festival, which was a couple of days ago. All right. Well, maybe I'll see if I can catch up with her. No worries. Well, I'll finish my job. And then I will portal back to. To Rocket City. Yep. City. All right. All right. Uh, is there anything the special you want to do, or should we do experience points and stuff? Or um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Especially that I wanted to do. Jolly. Um, yeah. Yes. Well, it's, it's a bit uh, frustrating with you and John sort of keep missing each other. So yeah. hey, we're having struggling to maintain continuity while still giving you stuff to do. Yeah. And it's sort of everybody's fault, but nobody's. Yeah, it's been a messed up couple of weeks, months, whatever. But yeah. Get there. Okay, so further to goal, uh, yes, because the, your goal is wealth. <laughs> Gain more? Not really. No. Uh, survive the quest, yes. Yep. You get two points for that because you turn your wear out some giant spiders, could have easily gone pear shaped. And the Elder Moth. Yes. Work with the faint weave people? No. Teamwork? No. Roll page carry? Yes. Four. Explore a new area, yes, so five. Probably your virtue and your vice, yes, for both. So seven. So you get seven then. 
XP. Alright. Oh. Uh, make it eight. Bugger it. That way you get five, sorry, um, eight all up to so your fifth level. But I've only got. Isn't it ten points for level up? No, it, it changes. Oh, hang on. Oh, we went for moderate, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so leave it at seven then. You're on 47. You need three more to get to fit. I kept thinking we were on the fast track, but we're not. Alright, so then look up that stuff. But still, so da -da, you've done your familiar quest Yay! before your special quest that you chose a second level. <laughs> God. Ah, well, we'll work out some way to do it. That's right. Alright, I think we'll leave it at that. Cool. Um, anything you think? Could have gone better or um, I mean obviously there'd be more interaction if there's other players. Yeah, well. yeah. So I don't think that almost all went fine. And the last time we did a solo, I think it was sort of it was difficult because I was trying to do something which I wasn't really specialised in. Yeah. Whereas this time You just um, roll crap a lot. <laughs> yeah. And like even though I roll crap because I'm not room. That I'm more focused on physical as opposed to yeah. magic. Yeah. Um, but it makes for interesting situations which I have to, yeah, yeah. to work with. Yeah, and, I'm, and I've got the, you know, I might get myself into a sticky situation through reckless use of magic, but then I've got <laughs> the, um, the physical skills to uh, adapt. And yeah, that's that sort of making the most of it. So yeah, yeah. You did. I mean, I did ask for a lot of roles. Maybe I mean, some of the time I could have just glossed over that. But yeah, I don't know. I think I was trying to get the pace going. If I gloss over it, it's going to go too quickly because there's only one player. Mm. So it goes quickly anyway because there's less of the debating or you know, yeah discussing what's going on. Um, it's, it's a lot easier just to go, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this. And like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot more decisive. Um, are there any bits you particularly liked? No, or not, it's just okay. But, all right, two. Not throwing any sounds out. I thought it was fun. It was a good sort of a range of activities. Yeah, uh, and, and challenges. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. If you roll bad fighting that spider, you'd have been deep poo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't pull punches out of the 200 foot spider. Well, well, I think some of, you know, combats and stuff, um, yeah, that's, that, that's in a good place. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, I sort of blitz through the combat a bit, but. I rolled, mm. I rolled really well in defence and rolled really well. Well, I mean, I, and I'm, I'm, and I'm playing it towards my strength by working on, you know, focusing on agile kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. Um, I mean, you I, could I have failed the, the wall of wood thing. You could have failed the bugger off. Yeah, well, and, the and that, that was a charisma roll, which I have a negative one modifier. So <laughs> I, that, that was just a, 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 a I guess, a lucky roll. Yeah. So I, I think, and it's good that you sort of challenge, because I, you know, my, my character will play towards the strength. Yeah. And I'll work towards that. But I think it's good for you to throw those challenges at me that don't necessarily focus on agility. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, using the might for your physical endurance, you know. Well, that, yeah. It, was... it, it gives a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play those six. Uh, you included them in the world. Well, I thought, if you can make, like, a, a pistol or a musket, then you can make the, the spring for a pogo stick, because yeah. that's all it is. It's just two shafts of the freaking spring. And it's like a pogo stick with like a black powder rocket at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, and then you go down up and twelve. Oh, cool guys. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, technically, you know, in 
our agents and investigators are equally proficient in all weapons, but that's not the focus. That's why it's all set damage. And it's just a matter of how you, your power, if you use it. Because you, when you discover your magic style, you could say, when I'm doing my blast mind, um, I'm dunking them on the head with a club. Mm. And when I'm attacking with my club, I'm dunking them on the head with a club. So it doesn't look hugely different to other people, but it's how you do your magic. Yeah. Blast <laughs> um, mind's probably not the best example. <laughs> but, um, but I, you know, I, I've described my, my mind blast in the past, because, you know, my, my character's focused on sort of, uh, it's a roguish and using daggers. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it, instead of, yeah, you could do that. You're throwing sort of ethereal knives at them and mm. hitting them in the head. And then when you want to take your melee knives, you're throwing them as well. Yeah, that, so that's awesome. Other people see you throwing knives all the time. But, yeah. you know, mechanically, one's a power and one's a physical mm. attack. But, yeah, no, it all, that all works. I've only got a limited number of physical knives I can throw in there as I can <laughs> it's, yeah. mind, mind blast and, 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 and attack people who think they're being attacked by knives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hmm. All right, so hopefully we get uh, Johnny next time we get some more interaction going and yeah, some more role playing side of things. All right, Johnny, good. I'll stop this. <laughs>